Uh, my name is Phil Carroll. Uh, I'm a NAMA member, uh, almost from the beginning of NAMA. We've been involved, I've been involved in uh, advocacy um, of all sorts, almost since the beginning of NAMA, when we were all encouraged as NAMA members to uh, address particular issues that concern NAMA and the industry, or re really the industry and NAMA. Um, I have found that, uh, you know, the main thing is just get some courage and, and do it, but um, that's easy to say. Uh, there's a couple things you can do. One is you can look, NAMA provides a great deal of information and in discussions and meetings, and you can get an idea of the issues through those uh, uh, papers and that, that, that discussion. Um, but one of the things that really helps is going with someone else, uh, finding someone you can go with. So uh, even if you were both experienced, um, w w playing off of each other and really a, one person when they're speaking, you can, the other person sort of assess what's going on, how the, how the person you're talking to is receiving the information and they can supplement that information with other information. So there's a lot with two people there, it's really a good idea. Now, sometimes it's not easy to find someone to go with. And what I've found in my state is that I've become acquainted with a local advocate. And he is really more tenant-oriented, tenant but he's also passionate about housing programs. So actually, as time has progressed in the last about 10 years, we tend to go to uh, see you not so much the member of Congress, but the staff, and talk about these issues. And we've sort of gained a little reputation about uh, being uh, objective, And but there's t it's, it's balanced. We've got the management owner issues on one side and the tenant um, program issues on the other side with the other. So I, for me, that's worked really well, but I think it's really critical, a couple things are critical. One is that you really understand the issue that you're going before. And NAMA can really help you with that. And if you're, if you're, if there's a real misunderstanding, if you don't have it focused, you can call staff uh, and help you clarify how it, how you define the issue to them, and they'll define the issue back to you. Sort of a little dialogue there, so you understand what you're trying to get at, and then. Uh, I would really encourage you to go with another person. And especially if you're new at it, go with someone, ask someone to go with you. And I found in NAMA, people are very receptive. If you call them up or you say, look, I need a little help on this, or I'd like to, would you go with me to see a house member or a staff member? Um, also, just, uh, it depends on where you live, but um, the, uh, the local federal building, you'll likely have all the representatives within a few floors of each other as you can go see. And sometimes you can group these meetings together with um, several members of Congress, you know, the staffs of several members um, in one place. And sometimes you can get them to tell you when the people from D.C. are going to come in to town. And then you can get cover both local and uh, national um, staff people. Um, ultimately, what you want to accomplish, of course, at least in my view, uh, is that um, when there is an issue that you may not even be aware of, that's, that they actually call you and say, well, what do you think about this issue? How does this affect the, lo the, uh, the, the affordable housing in my district or my state? And, and then you know you've succeeded. But in those, those cases are going to be rare. But really, find, define the issue, really understand the issue that you're advocating, and then go with someone else, to, so you you have not only backup but you can work off each other. Really assess what's going on when you're not when you're not speaking. So that's what I really recommend. It's it's not uh, uh, these people are just ordinary people who are, got jobs and just like we all do. And uh, you'll find there's a lot of common um, common interest amongst no matter what the political leanings are of the uh, the staff. I think it's it's uh, uh, it's something you should do.